Uh, do not attempt to adjust your radio. There is nothing wrong. Today it's time to stop singing and start swinging. An old woman can sit. An old man can sit. A chump can sit. A coward can sit. Anything can sit. Well, you and I have been sitting long enough, and it's time today for us to start doing some standing and some things to back that up. And I'm, I'm here to tell you, in case you don't know it, that you got a new, you got a new generation of black people in this country who don't care anything whatsoever about odds. They don't want to hear you old Uncle Tom handkerchief heads talking about uh, the odds. No. This is a new generation. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. We want black power. 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 That's right. That's what we want. Black power. And we don't have to be ashamed of it. Of it. In 1968, the legal policies of institutional racism and the continued legacy of slavery peaked to a historical crossroads for rural and urban communities everywhere. After the tragic deaths of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Malcolm X, the movement and energy within America arrived at a distinct point of mass resistance. From the east to the west, north to south, a new definition of personal and collective freedom rose from the children of the previously self-identified Negro. From 1968 through 1975, a shift happened in all aspects of the newly defined black community. A new breed of voices and leadership were fighting against America's status quo in mass media, the arts, family, religion, education, politics, and cultural traditions. This was truly a historical marking point, a moment in time where an assassination of the Negro's desire for civil and human rights gave birth to a new respect, appreciation, and power for black people everywhere. We have stayed here and we begged the president, we begged the federal government. That's all we've been doing, begging, begging. It's time we stand up and take over. Take over. We have to do what every group in this country did. We got to take over the communities where we outnumber people so we can have decent jobs. So we can have decent houses. So we can have decent roads. So we can have decent schools. So we can have decent justice. Every courthouse in Mississippi ought to be burned down tomorrow to get rid of the dirt and hair and filth. A visible change had come from the people at the grassroots, community activists, college intellectuals, and street corner youth were all engaged in liberation struggles from cities such as New York to Minneapolis and St. Paul. Slogans such as, We Shall Overcome, had been replaced by new declarations of power to the people. The movement that was centered around exclusive support and direction from the Negro church transitioned into a larger body of people refining the goals and boundaries of its previous generation. Religious and political ideology organizations were working within a new ideal of blackness. The Negro platform of equal opportunity and civil rights had run its course, similar to a perm in desperate need of chemical relaxation. In this era, black became beautiful and the people grew to be proud. This profound but short-lived time period is what some refer to as the Black Liberation Movement. This Freedom Radio special news documentary will explore the sights and sounds of the Black Liberation Movement circa 1968 through 1975. Here's the news, Monday, July 24th, 1967. 
The civil disturbance, which began early yesterday and continued throughout the night, has resulted in millions of dollars damage and over 500 injuries. The incidents, which began on Claremont, has spread through the inner city, and this morning Detroit police report that disorder is continuing on the west side, north of West Grand Boulevard, and all along 12th Street. Black leaders have repeatedly warned that the 12th Street area is one of the worst trouble spots in the city, with high unemployment and juvenile delinquency. It was noted that people of all ages were seen looting. One black leader said his community workers tried to make contact with the young looters, but, and I quote, we couldn't pull it off. We want to regain our strength. Regain our power right now. This hour, we want to regain our strength and regain our power right now. This hour. We want to regain our strength and regain our power right now. This hour. We want to regain our strength and regain our power right now. This hour. We want to regain our strength and regain our power right now. This hour. We want to regain our strength and regain our power right now. This hour, we want to regain our strength and regain our power right now. This hour, we want to regain our strength and regain our power right now. This hour, we want to regain our strength and regain our power right now. This hour, we want to regain our strength and regain our power right now. This hour, we want to regain our strength and regain our power right now. This hour. 